Hello, my name is Brother Sean, for those who don't know me. And yes, I'm in fancy dress. No, I'm not. It's my uniform, because I'm a member of the Teo community of interspiritual Franciscans. Yes, though I'm a Catholic Christian monk, our community embrace all faiths. Our brothers and sisters have different beliefs, but we come together as a cyber community at present to praise the Supreme in the Cathedral of Nature and the choristers of God at the wildlife who raise us up to embrace divine oneness. Allow me read this to you from the wonderful book of Eckhart Tolle, Stillness Speaks. You cannot find yourself in the past or future. The only place where you can find yourself is in the now. But not many people are finding themselves. Many are running away through fear, guilt, painful memories. An inner wounded child that has become the saboteur that destroys one's life. As one who was sexually abused, I became a saboteur. I destroyed everything and anything. I became fearful of people, especially of my own sex, all to do with what my father did to me. And after many years, 40 years of struggling with guilt and shame, where I blamed myself I was taken to a safe place for six months and in that safe place I was empowered by God's love to heal my inner wounded child by saying to it, it was not your fault, it was theirs. And that moment I said that my inner wounded child, little Sean, started to shed tears for lost years in the adult Sean. So I embrace my inner wounded child with love and I've been allowed to heal it and those painful memories. And they are now a thing of the past, but at times when I'm most vulnerable or in a crisis, the dark forces that seek to entrap me resurrect those painful memories. So what I do, I take responsibility by naming those feelings and memories, by blessing them, and by immediately releasing them to the light. I believe that we are all here to experience the complete expression of God's love. And we do that by coming away from the world, retreating from the mind, from the world, by coming back to our soul, our higher self. And when we make time to do that and sit in stillness in the presence of divine love, then we become aware that we are a child of God. And God asks nothing heroic of us, only one thing, to receive, to receive God's healing love that will empower us, take back our power, reclaim our divinity and continue on our spiritual path, learning our life lessons Lessons that we agreed to learn as part of our sacred contract. You are not alone on this journey. There are many of us. And it's important today more than ever in this world of change where many are losing heart, where fear is the new God on the block. Fear in the media, the television, the radio, the newspapers and periodicals 
It's embedded with materialism, greed, selfishness, and many souls are led down a slippery path. There are many spiritual teachers who purport to be ministers, representatives of God, and all they are are charlatans. For it's more about control of people's minds and filling their pocket with a nice little nest egg. You will always know God's disciples by the love they have for one another. There is a sincerity and integrity and their message is non-invasive and non-intrusive. But you too have a duty of care to your soul. You have a duty of care to your mind, to your body and your spirit. And that's why it's important for all of us that we retreat from the world for a day or a weekend or a week and go to a quiet place, as I'm doing this coming weekend, where I'm going to the Western Isles to Mull and then to Iona to sit in the very heartbeat of Celtic Christianity, where St. Columba brought Celtic Christianity, not Roman Catholicism, for that has destroyed the ancient Celtic Christian's tradition. Celtic Christianity is very similar to the Franciscan into spirituality that I embrace, because we come to God through nature. The cathedral of nature isn't a church building, it's the landscape and the animal kingdom are with us. We have an innate respect for the sacred in the landscape. Yes, I sing and dance to Brother Sun and Sister Moon. To many I'm cracked. And you know what? I'm glad I am. Because the more cracked you are, the more light you can let in. Sorry to be so frivolous. But this journey can have its moments and challenges. And there are times when you hit a low that we call the dark night of the soul, where you sense that there's no hope, God is gone. But that's an important part of the journey too, for there in that darkness, you're empowered to reach out and ask for God's help. Personal suffering, I believe, occurs when the soul is not being allowed to express itself, when it's been denied the opportunity to be truthful. When the soul is blocked, and many souls are blocked, and not allowed to be expressed, this almost inevitably leads to illness, depression, ulcers, skin conditions. And there is a way forward to come back to your heart, to listen to the I am presence within your being, and not to pretend, but to take it seriously. We have met some interesting people who joined our community who were full of emotionalism, full of praise. I'm weary and wary of people who praise me because I know that they will call me eventually. As I found a few months ago when some of our members were so full of praise, but I found behind my back they were plotting because they all had an agenda to seek their own will at the expense of the community. And some went off on their own travels to do God's will, but it was more about ego. For some it was about ego, and there was a deception there because there was lack of integrity and truth. Their motives weren't divinely inspired, so come back to your heart today. Reclaim your divinity. Set yourself free and live a fun-filled life. That is God's will for you. Not to be miserable, 
able to be happy and enjoy the fruits of your labours. I am here if you need me. You can always get me by typing in the website monasteryofstfrancis.com I wish you well, my friend. Namaste. Shalom. Inshallah paxet bonum. Om Shanti. Solo di caritas. And may your peace go with you. And may you find what your heart is searching for.